Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a 2016 10-piece limited edition in diamond-like carbon-coated titanium. This is the H. Moser & C. Endeavor Perpetual Calendar Funky Blue DLC, 40.8 millimeters in titanium. The watch is only 11.3 millimeters thin at its center by 49.1 millimeters lug tip to lug tip with a space in between the lugs of 20 millimeters. Pull the camera back a little bit and throw it on my wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference. Note that I've got plenty of clearance on both sides of my wrist. The watch is actually contoured. You could see that the lugs wrap around the wrist but the case shape itself is arced from side to side. You can really see that well from this angle. So when it's on the wrist, you can see it sits flush. It wraps around the wrist. It doesn't look awkward if your wrist is borderline size because it's very light and it's curvaceous in shape. Here's the over the top. I pull it tight a little bit so you get a sense of what it would look like properly strapped down and sized. It'll fit underneath the cuff, not a problem there. And then down the barrel, I've got plenty of spacing on either side of my wrist. I could recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, maybe 13 and a half if your wrist is more oval than round. Now taking a look at the strap, it's a sort of nubuck or velvety texture. Alligator leather, large rectangular scale, black. There is some bolstering to give it thickness. There's a monotone stitch, sheer sided construction, calfskin on the bottom. You can see this is a new Moser factory strap in outstanding condition. Simple DLC matching buckle. Note that the buckle includes both polished facets and satin. So this is a thoughtfully detailed watch. Now I'm going to do my best to capture the watch. The lighting doesn't always favor DLC, but you can see one of the important elements is that as with the buckle, there are satin parts of this case and there are polished parts of this case, and the distinction is more apparent to the eye than to the camera. You'll also note that the Endeavor case is remarkably fluid. In addition to its curved case back, these mirror polished concave hollows give the lug profiles a lot of individualist character. You can also see that the bezel expands at 12 and 6, but then it thins out in the mid case. In all instances, though, it's concave concave in profile. Taking a quick look at the dial, well, it better not be too quick because there's a lot to discuss for a fairly minimalist watch face. First, we have polished leaf style hands and individual applique metallic indices. We have a seven day power reserve indicator over at nine o'clock, though in fact, when fully wound, the watch will run for almost nine. There's a sunken concentric scale for reading the sub seconds down at six o'clock. And the watch does include a stop seconds or hacking feature to set against a reference time. It also features a bi-directional perpetual calendar. The index at the center, coaxial with the hour and minute hands, corresponds to the 12 month of the year. So you have 12 hours corresponding to 12 months. Note that it is a bi-directional perpetual calendar. As I jump from January to February here, I'm able to turn in either direction. That is extraordinary among perpetual calendars. And along with the Ulysse Norden system, that makes this the most user-friendly perpetual calendar on the market. Turn it all over, and one of the questions you had in mind can be answered now. The leap year indication system is on the reverse side. There's also a little kerf underneath the crown so you can dig your nail in for more easily setting the time. They think of everything. The movement, manual wind, seven day power reserve. The timepiece includes what Moser calls the caliber 341. It beats weight 18,000 vibrations per hour, pivots on 28 joules. It's adjusted in six positions, which is one more than the high horology standard of five. It has a rugged full balance bridge with a free sprung index to make it more shock tolerant. And as it beats away at 18,000 vibrations per hour, it does so with a 14 carat solid gold escapement that extends power reserve and reduces friction. There's an anti-magnetic Strawman alloy overcoil hairspring made by hand. This is actually made in-house by Moser at Precision Engineering, its subsidiary. Moser is located in Schaffhausen. It's a neighbor to IWC. They're both manufacturers, but this one, being far newer, has been far more resourceful in sourcing its own parts in-house. They only make about 1,500 watches a year, and they actually sell hairsprings and balances and escapements to other companies. They are that fully integrated. So what you're getting inside this case is all Moser. Twin mainspring barrels, and it actually has a platform escapement that can lift out in one piece. 
with the escapement, the balance, the hairspring, all of it, so that a pre-serviced module can be put in when the watch goes back to Schaffhausen for service. So you get that extraordinary power reserve, but you also get an extraordinarily quick service. A lot of complication, courtesy of Andreas Streller, an AHCI member, an independent watchmaker in his own right, whose specialty is cloaked complications, or low-profile complexity, or complexity simplified. And he designed this calendar system for Moser. You're getting a lot with this watch. Right down to the beauty of the decoration on the movement with its swan's neck click spring, black polished screws, and double crested Cote de Genève. It's a lot to love. 30 meters water resistance, so it's not necessarily a sports watch, but it is a very sporty watch. Email team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.